Suite 303. I'm your host, Jay Stoy. We're here with the Minister, Tracy McCharles, on Talent Access Day. Tracy, thanks for being there today. Thanks for having me. What a day, Minister. This is so exciting. You had so many powerhouses today. Can you tell our viewers a little bit, just sort of sum up the day for us, and then I'll just jump in. Sure. So today's announcement is about our strategy to uh, tap into what I call the untapped uh, talent pool, persons with disabilities who are ready, able, and willing to work, and uh, for employers to be able to harness those skill sets to help their business and the bottom line and the economy. I think that is such a great initiative and it's very well timely spent and it's needed for our society. So I want to congratulate the Ontario Liberal Party, your office for, you. for, for a vision. Thank you. And I know it's, it's, it's not a, an easy sell. Well, it is and it isn't. You're right. There, there are challenges because we talked today about some of the myths and misperceptions of hiring persons with disabilities who often have higher education attainment rates, they have higher performance reviews, they have lower WSAB costs, but there's still this disconnect, right? Persons with disabilities looking for employment, their unemployment rate is much, much higher than the rest of the province. And then you have employers saying, I can't find the skills I need. But we heard stories today from Mark Wafer at Tim Hortons, and we've heard stories of uh, CIBC today, their commitment to hire more persons with disabilities. And I talked a bit about SAP and their initiatives. So it's, it's I think, an exercise in dispelling myths and recognizing that um, persons with disabilities need uh, to have the same kind of access to, to opportunities, to get their foot in the door, and to develop a career. That's great. We're here again with the Minister, Ontario Liberal Minister, Tracy McCharles. She's responsible for accessibility, and she has a plenty of other titles attached to her name. Yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a few. Yeah. This is such an exciting day for persons with disabilities. Myself having a disability, along with many of our employees on the Disability Channel, it's things like today that we created the Disability Channel, so we really showcase the abilities and the togetherness from the Ontario Liberal Party along with all the other parties, because this is, goes across our uh, party line. I think it will have the support of uh, other parties. And even within government, uh, there are very specific strategies here. So I've worked with a lot of my colleagues within the government side, uh, and we're focusing on, for example, youth. We're focusing on more streamlined access to uh, service and employment opportunities. We're recognizing that government needs to continue to be a leader in employing persons with disabilities and communicating and marketing the, the benefits of persons with disabilities. And last but not least, there's a strong role for employers to, to play. In, uh, in Ontario hiring I really, I really like that focus that you said. It's time for the corporations yes. to get involved because the disability community, like you mentioned, is an untapped market, and all we would like is an opportunity to shine. Exactly. Right? And I think the corporations sometimes out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need to be educated. Mm -hmm. They need their hand held a little bit to mm -hmm. say, you know what, you're missing an untapped market called the disability community. So before we let you go, if people do, uh, Minister, before they go, if people do want to get involved, because I'm sure there's a lot of people because you're not that far removed from being knowing somebody who has a health issue, your mm -hmm. parent, a child. If people do want to get involved, Minister, where could they go? So they can certainly contact me in my ministry to get more information about our program called Access Talent. And, you know, if people have specific issues, you know, for their family, as you said, or want specific local information, going to your MPP's office is always a, a good resource as well. We have consulted quite a bit on getting the strategy launched, but there'll be more consultations, more opportunities for people to get involved. So people can email me. Uh, contact my office to get more information. Well, thank you very much. And again, uh, the Disability Channel and our limited, if we can ever offer support, we would love to. Thank you. We do have a disability platform. I know, and I see you on social media, and I thank you for your support and what you do for raising uh, awareness and inclusion. Thank you. And please do thank Susan for attending our event a couple weeks ago. I will. We're very appreciative. And like I said, let us showcase what you guys do. Thank you very much. Thanks again. We have the Minister Tracy McCharles on the show today. We're very honored. We're here at the CIBC Access Talent Day. Again, I'm Jay Stoy, and you're watching Sweet 303.